Hey everyone and welcome back. My name is Sport and in the last tutorial we used the onboard navigation systems of the Community A4 Skyhawk for DCS to navigate our way out to an awaiting tanker. And now that we're here we need to figure out how to get fuel from it. So get your innuendos ready and let's roll the tape. Air-to-air -air refueling is one of the more challenging and frustrating tasks for new and veteran pilots alike. The A4 doesn't make it much easier with lengthy engine spool up times and twitchy flight controls. However, with smooth inputs and the proper techniques I'll describe in this tutorial, you'll be plugging away at that basket in no time. These tips and tricks will also translate over to any of your other DCS modules which use a Drogan probe style refueling system. So here we are in the wing of the C-130, and the first thing I want to do is make sure that my aircraft is set up properly for air-to-air -air refueling. But first let's briefly talk about how the A-4's fuel system works. The A-4 has two fuel tanks, a 585 gallon wing tank and a 240 gallon fuselage tank right behind the cockpit. It can also accommodate up to three external fuel tanks of either 150 or 300 gallons with a super big gulp 400 gallon chungus available on the centerline station only. The external tanks use bleed air from the engine to pressurize the tank and force it into the wing, which then supplies the fuselage tank, which then feeds the engine. Once the wings are empty and can no longer supply fuel to the fuselage tank, the fuel transfer light illuminates on the caution panel ladder lights, which means there are only 1,500 pounds of fuel remaining, and the 150-gallon external tank I'm now magically carrying on my centerline is also empty, which in order to refuel, I'll need to depressurize it by selecting flight refuel down here. To finish up getting myself ready to refuel, I like to raise my seat position slightly for better forward visibility and to help better align the tip of my probe with the basket. You can do this by using view up and down, which I have bound to the page up and down keys. Now that the aircraft is set up to take fuel, I like to warm up by practicing my formation flying. In order to get a feel for the aircraft at my current speed and stores configuration, let's go ahead and start off on the wing of the Herc. I like to start off about 50 feet away, then slowly move in. It's easier to maintain formation from a few extra yards out rather than close up right away. I'm trying to line up two small but distinct points on the C-130 and hold them there as best I can. Aim small, miss small, right? So let's go ahead and try to put the tip of the number one propeller on the cheek windows on the pilot's side. I'm using pitch to maintain my vertical axis, rudder to maintain horizontal, and throttle for my forward and back. Okay, right about there looks good. I'm gonna fine tune my throttle position now to maintain that sweet spot. Uh, if you start to lose your position, instead of trying to salvage it and make large corrections, go back to your starting position about 50 feet out and work your way back in. Once you're feeling good about flying formation on the Herc, let's slide back and become friends with the Drogue. If you have any intention on sliding your probe into that pretty basket, you're going to want to get to know it first. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of power to stabilize, and we're going to slide to the right until the tip of our probe is covering the center of the basket. This is looking pretty good right here, and as you can see I'm making very small but precise adjustments to maintain a good zone of control behind the drogue. This is feeling pretty stable, and I'm feeling pretty confident that the basket's going to let me in, so let's go ahead and call the tanker and ask for consent. Ready, recontact. Cleared contact. Clear 
Now that we've been cleared to proceed, I'm going to ease the aircraft forward and get back to my 5 to 10 foot trail distance behind the basket. Adding just a touch of power to guide it forward. Slowly. Gently. Oh yeah! Excuse me. But while the hard part is over with, we now need to stay connected and quickly shift our focus from flying on the basket back to flying on the tanker. Push forward a little to give yourself some buffer and pick your points to fly a nice tight formation. In this case, I'm looking at keeping the number 2 engine in between the inner fuel tank and the fuselage on the tanker. At this point, you're continuing to fly formation until the full load is complete. And while we wait for that, I want to take the time to continue to thank everyone for watching my videos. I'm trying to bring high quality content to DCS. And the best way you can support my goal to reach a wider audience is to share my videos as they come out. And I'm thankful to everyone who has liked my previous content and all of my new subscribers. I read every single one of your comments and I really appreciate the feedback. Transfer complete. Disconnect. And there are the magic words. Whew, I think I need a glass of water and maybe a cigarette after that. So proper procedure here is to uh, slide back and cross under uh, and behind and form up on the right wing until your whole section is complete with their refueling. Now that I'm formed up over here, I'm going to reset my aircraft to its normal configuration, meaning I'm going to lower my seat back and repressurize the external tank. And that's it! What's hard to illustrate in a tutorial like this are the hours of practice that go into making it look good. Trust me when I say that there were plenty of failed attempts before I was able to put this together. The best piece of advice I can give is just to go out and stick your probe into as many baskets as you can. And always use protection. In the next tutorial, we're finally visiting the bombing range, so stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.